Brandon. This is taken at his four. Solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32-yard line. They run the counter play. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. Wasn't that long ago that the NFL guys really didn't adopt much from the college game. But one thing that has crept in there is spreading things out, opening things up, not even just in tempo, but maybe getting better line splits and spreading the field. I think that would be a great strategy right now to try and open things up in the run game. now out of the gun and his rough afternoon continues he's going nowhere again back to back stops make it third and ten and while there is no gain on that run we do know coaches whose identity is rooted in taking it almost to the limit and then changing things up on you down the stretch I think we're getting really close to that point in time though with the identity map to go out the window they've got to go a little bit faster in order to try and win the game he's going to float this one deep right side this is caught inside the 15 touchdown Indianapolis their dangerous wide receiver with his second touchdown of the game number seven on the year and the Colts have got it back to a one-score game. Charles, there aren't really any slow receivers, but there's fast and then really fast. He's really fast, and he showed off the afterburners there. And that he is because when he took off, I was thinking there's no chance that he can actually reach him with that pass. Yet he did, and he's still sprinting. And just think about what that does for everyone else on his team because his ability to stretch a field opens things up for the rest of the receivers on the team. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And the result for the Colts is a touchdown. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. This will be fielded at the six. Defenders giving chase, but I don't think they're going to get there. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Their dangerous wide receiver, 93 yards. And the Dolphins are able to grow their lead. I know a lot of special teams coaches, they just want to keep it away from him because that's what he can do. And others have egos that their players can't keep up with. And they say, challenge him, kick it to him. The way he runs as fast as he is, I wouldn't challenge him at all. I'd do everything possible to keep it away. He is just a blur when he gets a full head of steam, and he got a full head of steam there. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This is fielded at the goal line. And now the rookie's free. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Their dangerous wide receiver with his first career NFL touchdown. And the Colts able to get this back within a touchdown. It's been a back and forth game, a lot of points on the board, and that return right there kind of indicative of how this thing's gone. Hey, you've seen both teams go at it, and as you just pointed out, both of them have found the end zone. But just like in boxing, you know the blow that hurts the most? The one you didn't see coming. And that often is the case when it comes in special teams. It's up and good, and this now becomes a 24-21 ball game. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. This will be fielded at the 6. <laughs> and he's up across the 25 and down at the 28-yard line. They come out here in the eye. Now a handoff here to his running back. And not much. Maybe a yard up to the 29. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. Back 
to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. Six yards is the pickup, and that'll lead to a third down. Third down now following the completed pass. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. Eight yards on the pick up there, and it moves the sticks. I know at times today's NFL sure feels like everything's about the guy throwing the football. But when you've got a guy who can run it and move it and gain this type of yardage, you'll take him each and every time. Offense comes to the line now, first and ten. And they'll try the ground game here with the running back. And he'll take this one across the 45 up to about the 46-yard line. Give him three on first down. It'll set up a second and seven. And to give this time to the tailback. And they'll stop him right on the midfield stripe. And still about three yards shy of a first as the four-yard pickup brings it to third down. Let's see if they can convert here on third and three. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. And he will find his man on the outside. It's a gain of four, and it gets him the first. Let's go. Green, 39. Green, 39. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll lose yardage here, back at the 47. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. One thing that's really difficult for an offense is often identifying how to block a 3-4 defense. Well, when they're coming out of blitz, even more difficult. They're elusive targets and hard to hit. Let's go! Green, 39! Looking to throw. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And he's going to get this inside the 30. He got 18 yards out of that one, and it gets him a new set of downs. How about the timing on that one? Boy, they were in sync, weren't they? Three-step drop, balls out of his hands, right to the tight end. Nice completion, just like they do it in practice. They run the counter now on first down. And he is going to lose yardage here. It's a loss of four there, bringing up second down. One of the beauties of a 3-4 defense is that you have flexibility with your linebackers and you can put them in different spots. But one of the downsides is an offensive team that's committed to running the football, you can get your big offensive lineman up on linebackers quicker, and that usually gives you an advantage in running it. Offense needs something here on second down. It is second and long. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Throwing over the middle, but it's incomplete. The goal of anyone running a curl route is to make sure you try and get defenders on your back and shield them away from the football. But sometimes, even when you run a good route, the defense finds a way to knock it away. And a really long drive here, and it goes on and on. And with a third and 14, we have six defensive backs out there now defensively. Out of the gun, they'll look to throw. And down he goes! They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Well, how about that? A dime set on defense, six defensive backs. None of them blitz. They're just back there in coverage. Defensive lineman gets the sack. That's where the O-line, they go to the sideline, they keep their, their helmets on so the cameras can't find them, right? Yeah, the cameras can't find them, but I know one thing, the O-line coach will. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. And no return here. Where will they spot it? They say just outside the 20-yard line. Well, 
Looks like the defense in press coverage here. They'll try and start this drive in the air. They're looking for his tight end on the corner. It's complete. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. And the game just keeps evolving. Big guys running those corner routes, so difficult to cover. First down and 10 now for the offensive group. It's a five receiver set. Three to the left, two to the right. They'll set up a throw, and he's got his man on the out route. Five yards on the catch there, brings up second down. It's fun to watch is these college receivers transitioning into the NFL and how they grow as route runners. Because a lot of times now in the college game, the spread offenses, there aren't that many routes that they're actually running. Most of the time, they're just trying to find open space and present themselves to the quarterback as easy targets. But in the NFL, you've got to run the entire route tree, and you've got to run it well if you expect to get open. He's going to fire one deep over the middle. And the hit jarred it loose. It's incomplete. I guess they figure with a guy who is that hot downfield, who knows how to get the ball into the end zone, you throw it up and give him every opportunity, even though that one fell incomplete. Yeah, he's already been in the end zone multiple times, tried to target him again deep there, but unsuccessful. Incomplete pass on second down. Let's see what the offense draws up here on third. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. And this is going to be incomplete. Holding offense. The Colts send out their punter as he's on to kick it away. And this will hit just beyond the goal line as it's into the end zone for a touchback. They'll give it to him right up the gut. And he'll find some space up to about the 25. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. For that kind of run on first down, that's a winning type of a run. That just sets things up for them moving forward as they begin the drive. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Surveying the field and seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. the gun now on third down. Quick hitter here, it's complete. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. The Dolphins will send out the punter now, as he's on for the fifth time here today. And he deserves a bronze leg as he gets this one away. A big kick there. We'll call it 56 yards on the punt. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Looking to jam the receivers at the line here. Press coverage look defensively. They come out five wide. Three of them to the right side. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he's going to find his man out of the backfield. That's complete. Touchdown. A big play there. An 80 yard touchdown. And the Colts have taken the lead. Partner, you know what the real key is to stopping a good passing attack? You tell me. Being able to tackle as soon as a guy catches the football. Didn't work out there. No, because when you give up the big run after catch, the rack yardage, that puts your defense in a big time stressful position. A lot of rack yardage and a touchdown there on the big play. The call is to go for one and kick the extra point. 
And that will make this a four-point game. Those are the ones the offensive coordinators dream about. One play drives from that distance. What an effort. It results in the touchdown. The Colts kicking team is out there now, and they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he nearly broke that for more, but as it is, they'll start this drive at about the 37-yard line. They'll come out throwing here on first down. And he will find his man on the outside. And he went nowhere. Well, he went backwards, back to the 33. That's going to go as a loss of four, and it'll be second down. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. To the sideline, and oh, a nice catch there. Made sure the feet were inbounds, and they were. Third and 11, five in the secondary now. Nickel look. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. He's got time. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is taken in at the five. It's a big play there for Miami. 63 yards. Brandon, that's an awesome job there. A nice catch after a beautiful throw down the field. And now they're in a great spot to finish off this drive with a touchdown. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. And they'll go ground game here with a tailback. And yeah, this is not going to do it as he stopped at the two-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Well, it's been the air game that's taken them down on this drive before they finally turned around and handed it off on the last play. And now they're looking for the big boys to get him in the end zone. Couldn't do it there. It'll be interesting to see. Offensive lines had to pass block a lot on this drive. Will they be able to revert and fire out and create some space in the run game? And they'll go with the ground attack here. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Call it no gain that time, and now it's third and goal. When I was playing, all our defensive coaches talked about, when you're near your own goal line and you're trying to stop them from getting in, your heart gets tested. What a nice play on the last game. A lot of heart on second, but they have the heart on third. They'll run it now out of the gun. And he'll go backwards, losing yardage to the five. And a loss of three to bring up four. Nice job holding him out of the end zone on third down, but give a big assist to the crowd. They've been with them the entire game and have spurred them on. Here in the second half, they've really helped elevate their play. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. From the left half, should be a fairly easy one here. And his kick is good. And high fives for that one as that drive ends in three. So give them three there. A good drive gets them inside the five, but they couldn't punch it in. And credit this defense, too. That was the old bend but don't break approach. But it kept the offense out of the end zone. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. So both offenses come to life here in this third quarter as this is shaping up for a good finish. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports. And we've got a dandy here. A one-point game as we begin the fourth. And he'll give it here to his running back. 
And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. And Brandon, every running back wants to use their speed in order to get out in front of things. Sometimes you just have to be patient, let blocks develop. On that play, that didn't happen. Back to throw now on second and 10. He's going to rifle one deep left side. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Third down here for the offense after the incomplete pass. Dolphins bring on an extra defensive back on third down. Well, the obvious goal is to try and score a touchdown, but at the least, and under a heavy rush, and down he goes. It's a loss of 10 on the sack, and it leads to fourth. Now, we talk about players blitzing all the time. I often laugh and sometimes call it just straight-ahead pursuit. What a running start right back to the backfield for him. Yeah, it really didn't give anybody a chance to get up there and stop him. No, I mean, that's really, really difficult. You're asking a whole lot anyway, but when he gets that kind of a start and comes through clean, oftentimes the advantage definitely goes to the defensive player. He gets this one away, and boy, it's another boomer. And yeah, take it right at the 35. So possession goes over here on the punt. And that will come the offense as they take over. One receiver left, three to the right. Back to throw now on first down. Oh, there's that man again. It's complete. A gain of six there on first. So the offense readies for a second and four. They'll drop to throw. Gonna throw right side here, complete. And he'll go out of bounds right around the 40. And five yards on the play there as the drive will continue. I think that's a big pickup for a first down because when you run a drag route against zone, you're sometimes asking for trouble because you might run into a defender. Yeah, well, there they ran into a first down, executed it to perfection. Now a play fake here on first down. And no escaping this time as he'll go down. They got him for a sack. He couldn't get rid of it. He winds up losing a yard. It's second down. And for the defense, their third sack of the game. That number tells you that they're starting to put it together with their defensive game plan. They're starting to feel pretty good about what the offense is doing, bringing the pressure at the right time, and putting the quarterback on the ground. So the defense gets to the quarterback. Now the offense backed up on second down. Three receivers to the left, one to the right. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. So the flag is for the very rare illegal forward pass penalty. Not often that a quarterback forgets where the line of scrimmage is. They have an innate sense about it. On this play, the quarterback did. So it's third and long, and defensively not a real surprise there in the dime. They'll set up a throw. Oh, no, he lost the football. And the Colts pick it up. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. feels like an accumulation of the pressure we've seen all game. I mean, he's been on the turf a whole lot because of sacks. Eventually, something else happens as well, and this time it was a turnover. Yeah, caught up to him. They'll give it to him right up the gut. 
And he's going to get this one down near the 45-yard line. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. It'd be hard to say that a defense wouldn't be ready for a first down run. When you can get him that kind of yardage against a defense, it's really kind of geared to stop that play. Your confidence has to rise, and now you've actually opened up your playbook. If you want to throw the ball now for play action, you're good to go. Looking to throw, and he almost had it defensively. Could have been a game changer there in this second half. Instead, it's third down. And they'll need the 39 here for a first. This is third down. They come up in an empty set. Four wide receivers, one tight end. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Wide open receiver complete. A gain of 13 and also a first down. They go play action here on first down. He's got his man on the crossing route. They give him 14 yards that time and a fresh set of downs. And on that last play there, he's over 400 yards passing now. You know what that generally means? Success. <laughs> yeah, that, and it means you really didn't miss opportunities. Usually very accurate. The ball's getting to the right place. Guys are making yardage after the catch to help you out that way. I mean, the whole team has picked it up. And don't forget, that means the offensive line has had to pass protect pretty well, too. Yeah, everyone dialed in. They come out with one back and three tight ends. And his rough afternoon continues. He's going nowhere again. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. So the myth has been shattered. Every cornerback in the league is not just a cover corner. Some of them will stick their nose in there and make plays exactly as we just saw there. A big loss suffered by the offense after that nice tackle. A nickel back added defensively as they look to stop this third and eight. They're going to look to throw. And probably the wise decision there. No one open. He just throws it away. And that keeps the field goal on the table as it's fourth down. So on fourth down, out trots the kicker in a big spot here. From the right hash, this from 33. And the 10-year vet knocks it through the goalpost. And that'll move their lead up to four now. So a miss on his first attempt, but this time he gets back on the bike and knocks it home. I know this will surprise you a little bit, Brandon, but you know kickers can be a fragile breed sometimes. You got to wonder what's going through his mind, but he didn't let that first miss impact him one bit. Hey, I kicked back at Harrison High School. Are you calling my ilk soft? This one fielded at the five. And not a bad return. Here he gets it out to the 25-yard line. And on the outside, they're playing press coverage. One receiver left, three to the right. They'll come out throwing here on first down. Firing quickly here, and that's complete. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Give them 11 yards that time and a new set of downs. It's a nice completion, a little bit of run after catch as well to create the yardage that they got. But it is so tough to cover that route, the drag route, because they run it at varying speeds because the key is to create hesitancy on the defender's part. Always so empathetic for those DBs, aren't you? On play action, they'll throw. He's going to loft one deep left side here. And this is taken in at the five. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. Their big-bodied receiver, his third touchdown of the game and fourth on the year. And the Dolphins have taken the lead here in the fourth. And that third counter there gives them the lead, and it's obvious they've needed everything that he's given them today. The three touchdowns, that's impressive. But without them, they're not winning this game. Now an important extra point here to stretch this lead to a field goal. 
He's got it. And this is indeed up to a three-point lead. That drive started on their own 25. Two plays, 75 yards later, into the end zone. The kicking team out for Miami as they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29-yard line. Try and start this drive in the air. And got his man complete. And he'll take this into the end zone. Now, hold on here. We do have a flag down. So let's see what this is about. Well, they have the yards anyway, so they're going to decline the penalty. the kicking team here for the extra point. And that will make this a four-point game. Those are the kind of drives they like on offense from the coordinator to the quarterback, the line, everybody. One play drive and into the end zone for six. the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. The Colts are going to get him. Down he goes. A loss of four that time on the sack, and it brings up second. Well, Brandon, sometimes I think when we watch games, we're actually watching a living museum because we're seeing the evolution of positions almost with each passing game. How about defensive ends nowadays and the way that they can run almost all the way across the field? It is unbelievable, isn't it? I mean, they're, they're so strong, but they're so lean, they can move so quick with those bodies. It's almost unfair. You're supposed to be able to know where a defensive end is supposed to be on every play. These guys flash so quickly, you're not sure where they're going to end up. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. And he's got his man on the out route. A really nice pickup of 14 yards, and it moves the sticks. People worry about throwing the out route because often it can get jumped, and that can turn into an either an incompletion or an interception. But not on that one. Everything came together, and he catches it and goes over the sideline. So the ref takes a peek here, wants to see if the receiver had possession and both feet inbounds. If this were a college game, this would be a legal catch. It's the second foot that they're looking at to make sure it gets down. Cap cap two inbounds in the NFL. Challenged the play, it did not pay off. And that means he lost a timeout in that challenge. And as a coach, you hate that. Don't know if you took the advice of the player, you threw it yourself, but it didn't go your way. At the end of the day, it all comes back to the head coach. He has the final determination on whether to actually challenge the player or not. In this case, it didn't pay off for him. And that's got to be so heartbreaking. You throw that flag, you probably feel really confident, and then all of a sudden, boom, you lose the challenge. Yeah, when you take a look at it, you're throwing that flag because you believe you're going to be right. And when it comes back the other way, you have to regroup. And the offense lining up first and 10. They'll put two receivers left, two to the right. On first down, he'll drop to throw. 
And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. He lost two there, and it's third down. Well, that play really didn't fool them. They completed the screen pass, but for lost yardage, a really nice play by the defense. And this offensive unit, they have to face a third down and 12 now. They'll look to throw again. Throwing for his running back, and he's got him complete. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. It'll be a gain of six, and that's going to make it fourth down. The Dolphins will send out the punter now as they're forced to kick for the sixth time today. And the punt over the side in the air, and the spot will be inside the 35. here. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Textbook defense. Nowhere to go for the runner. They get there. They make the tackle. Play over. Again, we'll see the pistol here. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. Finding time. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So it is third down now, but less than a yard to go. And again, this time to the tailback. And he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. Five yards is the pickup there as that extends this drive. So the run moves the chains, and here we go on first down. Time running out here on the play clock. They'll run it now out of the gun. And nowhere really to go there. He'll take this up just shy of midfield. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. And at this stage of the game, Time a factor, time on their side as they just try to eke out the final precious moments of this one. They'll set up a throw. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. So the Colts in possession of the football as we get your reset. They're facing a critical third down now as they try to hold on to this lead. So a second down in completion now brings up third down. They come out here in the eye. On third down, they'll try and pick it up with a counter. Now the Dolphins are going to halt the action here. It's a timeout. It's just their first. They've got two more to use here in the final stages. So a defensive timeout, chance to regather, regroup, and get set as we resume action. He gets this away. It's a good one, drawing toward the sidelines. And not what he was hoping for there, as this will hit in the end zone for a touchback.
He's back to throw. Yeah, quick throw here. That's complete. Five yards on the catch there. Brings up second down. Looking to speed things up here. Going with some tempo. Back to throw. He's going to flip one out here to his running back. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. That'll leave him with just one remaining in this fourth quarter of play. They'll look to throw. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. Down four late. Got to go for it here on fourth down. Back to throw. Throwing middle, and it's complete. It'll be a pickup of 13 on the play, and they're able to pick up the conversion here on fourth down. And they're going to hurry back to the line now. He'll look to throw. And he just gets rid of it, throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody opened. Now second down. Let's face it, perfection is something we all chase, whether it's playing this game or whatever we do. Hard to attain, but that's what they were searching for as that pass goes incomplete. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he comes back with one complete. That one goes for 13 yards, and it moves the sticks. And now they're in the hurry up. And with 45 seconds showing, he spikes the football. Offense looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and 10. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Fighting his safety valve here. That's complete. It's a gain of five. And they're going to face a third down. Off the play fake. He'll look to throw. He's got time in the pocket. He's going to let it fly. And a shot taken on third down unsuccessful. Fourth down now. One score down. Here we go. They're going to go for it here on fourth down. They didn't have a ton of yards to pick up on that third down, but there was no way they were playing that one safe. They decided to take that one down. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That'll be their third and final stoppage here as we step aside. Now a play fake here on first down. And that is incomplete. Down to 15 seconds now. Well, not to get too overcritical there because he knows what he's doing, but his shoulders looked a little off kilter there when he threw that. I don't think you're being overly critical there. You're just analyzing it, and he gets those shoulders right. That pass will go from incomplete to complete. Let's go! Blue Lanny! Blue Lanny! And second and ten, he'll look to throw again. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And seeing nowhere to throw, he chucks this one away from harm. Incomplete. Now it's third down. Let's face it, you can run the route tree as many times as you want, get in sync, practice it, do all those things. But once you get to game speed, it doesn't always time up quite that well. That one goes incomplete. Well, Charles, they were close in the end, but they couldn't get that last play, that last little miracle play done. They were within striking distance, but couldn't find a way to score. They definitely had hope. They definitely had opportunity. Just unable to cash in at the end. Not an easy play by any stretch, but they definitely had a chance. So for Indianapolis, they remain one of the hottest teams out there as the win moves them to 6-1. And, and they'll hit the road next week to take on the Denver Broncos. Meanwhile, for Miami, they drop just their second game so far as they fall to 5-2. And, and they'll be at home for one next week as the Atlanta Falcons come to town. So that'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our crew. I'm Brandon Gaughton. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. The Colts are winners as we say so long from Indianapolis.